All right, here's problem one off the math subject GRE practice exam. Uh, this problem, it's a, you're evaluating a limit, so it ends up being a L'Hopital's rule problem. The way you know it's L'Hopital's rule is you try to evaluate the limit, change all the x's into zeros. Zero squared on, in the denominator here is zero. In the numerator, the cosine of zero is equal to one, one minus one equals zero. And zero over zero is one of the indeterminate forms. Uh, more often than not, the indeterminate forms you'll see are zero over zero and infinity over infinity, although there are others. Uh, so when you're in an indeterminate form, you can use L'Hopital's rule, which allows you to say that that limit is the same as the limit of the quotient of the derivative. So all I'm saying is take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of cosine of 3x minus 1. Well, the derivative of cosine of 3x, I'll use the chain rule to get negative sine of 3x times 3. Uh, and then the derivative of minus 1 is 0. That just goes away. So I'm left with this limit to evaluate. And you try to evaluate this limit, change all the x's to zero, and what you'll see is the same thing happens. You get that same indeterminate form, zero over zero. The denominator is pretty obvious that it's zero, but in the numerator, the sine of zero is zero. So even when you multiply it by negative three, you're still at zero. So you can use L'Hopital's rule again. So that limit's equal to the limit of, we'll take the derivative one more time. Uh, the negative three is a constant, so you can leave it alone. And then you multiply that by the derivative of sine of 3x, or the derivative of sine of 3x using the chain rule is cosine of 3x times 3. And the derivative of 2x is just 2. And finally, I get to a limit that I can evaluate. I can evaluate this limit by changing all the x's into zeros. Uh, what I'll get down in the denominator is just a 2. Up in the numerator, the cosine of 3 times 0 is the cosine of 0, which is 1. So 1 times negative 3 times 3 gives me negative 9 halves. And I see that that's one of the solutions, solution E. So that's the answer to this problem.